Okay, I've, I'm just going to do this video because uh, my first and uh, my first all grain video was really poor quality because of the simple fact that I did not have a very decent tripod, and I actually picked one up for twenty bucks on Trade Me, and it it's it's poor. It, it's made of poor quality materials, but as long as I treat it well, it should do me fine. Now, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm getting my strike water up to 80 degrees Celsius, and the reason I'm going for 80 is because I've got 20 litres in here, and I need 18 for my mash. And what I'm doing is I'm going to take 2 litres of that, put it in the mash tun, the old mash tun and uh, heat up the mash tun for 10 minutes while I let the the rest of that water sort of it'll it'll come down to about 78 I'm hoping and so theoretically what we should end up with after doughing in and um, everything like that we should end up with a, a range of 68 and it shouldn't come down below 66, 65 at the end of the mash. And uh, we'll um, we'll show you the rest in a moment. Um, just waiting for we're at 78 at the moment. I'll just give it a stir because you always mix your water around because oops because it helps to. Uh, even out the water temperature. Okay, we're at 79. Oh, hang on, that probe is too close to an element, so it's not giving me a true reading. 81, okay. Okay, right, now, what I do is I unplug those you got to love immersion elements. They are so freaking easy to work with. And um, pop them in there. We'll take two litres. I'm going to pour myself a home brew. Can you see me? No, you can't. Oh, uh, well, I'm pouring a home brew out of the Kieser. And it seems that my... My pressure is up just a little bit. And um, here it is. Here's my, this is my first all grain. As you can see, it turned out reasonably clear. And this is only my third pull on the uh, Kieser. My first pull was as cloudy as all get out. And uh, this is my second pull. You can see that Heineken label in behind there. I'll spin that around and it's got and you can barely hear the bubbles which means they're sticking around which which is a good thing oh my god this is going to be a fucking epic brew day I'm taste testing my first all grain and I'm brewing all grain hurry out guys it doesn't get any better than this once the excitement's gone, I've always got extract to fall back on. But for, for right here, right now, I am excited as all hell to be brewing all grain. And it's no disrespect to, to anyone that brews kits, because I, I brewed kits for four years. Four freaking years I've been brewing kits. And I've never had anyone that's tried my beer say, Oh, that's horrible. That's awful. You know, I've never had another home brewer try my beer, but I've had guys that have, you know, that have methodically bought, uh, store-bought beer weekend after weekend after weekend for fucking years. And um, and they've all said, Far out, man. That, that, that home brew you make is bloody top-notch. And... So, it is what it is. I'll get right back to you. Okay, so, what I'm doing is I'm pulling two litres out of the strike water. 
one, and that's two, and that will heat up my um, mash tun. Now I'm going to leave that for about 10 minutes, and we'll get back to you in a moment. Cheers. Is our, our strike water is coming up to... I do believe I'm going to uh, have my strike water at 82, 83 uh, because uh, my brewing software, Brewer's Friend, says that I need to mash at 76 for uh, an hour with this recipe. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is my dad's IPA. I'm brewing this in honour of my dear old father who passed away 11 months ago yesterday. Um, so this, this batch of beers is going to be ready on his anniversary and I will probably take a bottle out and put it on his gravesite for him. Um, yeah, so this is this is in honour of my father. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Um, 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 um. Yeah, give me a hand, mate. You just hold that under there. Hold it down just a bit, just like fully down. All right, go and empty that out. Probably just as easy if I uh, take the mash tun over and empty it out. So that's what I'll do. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, and you put that right in the way, sunshine. have been in the fridge overnight so I'm actually going to um, these grains have been in the fridge overnight so they're quite cool so I'm probably going to sit my strike water at 85 I can always add a little cold water if I need to but uh, so I might throw the other element in there Not throw the other element in there. It's all trial and error at this stage. It's all trial and error. So just um, so we'll get back to you guys very shortly when our strike water is at 85 and we'll see what we end up with in the mash tun. Cheers. Strike water at 85, bearing in mind that the grains are actually refrigerated and, um, and the, uh, the recipe calls for I do believe it's 76 degrees, which does seem quite high. I'm just going to check that. Uh, mash step one, 76 degrees Celsius for, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it is correct. That is correct. Um, 
my recipe calls for 76 degrees for 60 minutes. You gotta love your first all grain turning out good. Awesome stuff. Okay, so make sure our tap's shut. And it's just a matter of filling her up and uh, doughing in. We'll uh, get the grains ready for doughing in. This is my hot liquor tank slash boil pot. And it's doing a fantastic job. Okay, shut that off. And turn that around so that the hose is out of the way. And we'll attempt to get this bloody bag open. Oh my goodness. The brew shop guy sure did a good job of sticking this together. <laughs> okay. We've got a few dough balls. Okay. So we've got a few dough balls in here. Okay, it looks good. Now I'm going to get my assistant to uh, to pour in gently as I go. Just pour it in gently. Yep, that's a good pace. A bit more than that. A bit quicker. Pour it down the seam. Whip it in. Oh, don't miss. You're missing. 
You're missing. Uh -huh. yeah. God, you got it all over the bloody floor. Not that much. Good, good help is hard to find. That's a good porridgey consistency. And I think we'll let that go. We'll see. Uh, can you grab the other thermometer? It's over by that bottle. Spilled a little. Now let's see what temperature we get at. Let's hope we hit the right temperature. What temperature are you adding? Um, well, it says 76, which I find is a wee bit high. I would have thought 67, 68 would have been good enough. But that's what the recipe's calling for. I doubt we're going to reach it. Might need to push it in more. Okay, so what we've got now is the the mash is done. Open that up, take my temperature probe out, and I hope this uh, video editing sort of deal is a little better than last time. And I'm going to put this um, uh, sieve in the top of the mash tun, right in there, and I'm going to begin to ball off. It's not too bloody bad actually, but we're going to, we, we're, we're setting the grain bed so we don't want to pour it too quickly. Yeah, we've got some particles in there, so this will, uh, it'll settle down. See if I can't get you a better view after I've done this one. I've just had a thought. So hopefully that's a better view so that you guys can actually see what I'm actually doing. 
and that's becoming very good clear vault. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, there's still a few particles in there. And that's relatively clear. See if you can see that. That's pretty, pretty good. I'll do another couple. We've still got a few wee particles in there, so we'll continue to do this. And I've got to say, my brewing software comes up with a um, estimated colour. It's bloody close, I tell you that. Yeah, we could do with a little bit more. Rinsing the grain, rinsing the grain, and I'm going to let that go. Probably speed this up on the actual video. Man, that's a lovely colour. Oh, we better turn this around. Face the front.
take that out. And so I, um, I actually had to make adjustments in my filter inside the mash tun and it seems to be that it's working brilliantly. I mean that's pouring out perfectly well. So there ain't nothing wrong with that for a grain bead, for a uh, grain filter. And what I now do is And uh, I, I, um, I will do a batch sparge, of which I will um, put 14 and a half litres of, uh, of water in the, of uh, 78 degree water in the, um, Mash tun, stir it around, um, let it um, let it uh, sit for ten minutes, and then I will um, boil off again and do the same process again. We'll get back to it when we've got the boil happening. Okay. Okay. As always, when making a home brew video, you got to drink home brew. It's got to be done. Cheers, top brew. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my hot fridge and I'm going to grab out. 20 grams of warrior. I think that's what it calls for. Okay, mate. Yep. Uh, what? 20 grams of warrior. Yep. Oh, you got your menu there. Yep. So we're going to chuck in 20 grams of warrior. 10 oh, yeah. grams. Yeah, remember, my father used to throw it in. He used to keep lots of books of different. Um, 20 grams. Um, we will return. We will return. DB on the coast. Fuck. Fuck, I just got a shock. That's one that I'm... I've got a shock and I touch the water in that. In we go with 20 grams of Pacific Jade. At... Uh, at um, 10 minutes and boom done like a dog's dinner cheers so we've uh, we're just gonna do the oil pork That is it, in a nutshell, in a nutshell. And we will let that sit for 10 minutes. Cheers guys. Last little bit to do, which is to 
to uh, put the wort into the fermenter and pitch the yeast. So we're, uh, we're going pretty good. At 24.4 degrees, um, we're good to pitch the yeast. Um, so I am going to pitch. my yeast and there it goes and I always stir it I'm a stir it I'm a shit stir it And we are good to go. Be back in a minute. And we'll, uh, we shall ferment that forthwith. And it will And uh, my fermentation fridge is at 21, 21 degrees. Uh, if I can just pull that open a little bit. Uh, 21 degrees. So the brew day is done and I will post a taste test video on this as soon as that bad boy is ready in a month it'll be a week week 10 days in the fermenter and three weeks in the keg I always age my beers three weeks in the keg and uh, Cheers, drink good beers, 17 over and out.